What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. This time I'm showing you guys the Air Jordan 1 Low Diamond Shorts. Now before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, it lets me know I'm in the right direction and showing you guys what you want to see. If you're new to the channel, I just want to say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me, and you guys with news videos coming ahead of time if you follow me on Instagram, at Davis. But let's get right into it, guys. So I was able to get these today, and I was able to get the mids as well, which is in the back of me. Um, now... I just want to start off by saying this the suggested retail is not on the box here but i did wind up paying but i did wind up paying 135 for the mids and the lows was 110 now these did also drop today on the sneakers app as well but if you weren't able to get them on the sneakers app and you were looking to get them in person check your local boutiques and your champs and your foot lockers and your local malls but let's get right into it guys so we just get a regular black box here with a gold jump man at the top. Okay, once again, on the front here, it doesn't say the suggested price, but it does say the USD right there. All right, I did go to size 9.5. I unfortunately wasn't able to get a size nine in these. So these do kind of run a little bit big on me, but I will show you guys that in the on foot portion. So make sure you guys stay for that. Now open up this box here and we get the regular tissue paper with the gold jump mans on it. And then some regular tissue paper. And then we take out this very nice shoe here. And the reason why they're calling this the diamond shorts is because if you guys look at the material, you know, at first glance, it might look like just white material. But then as you move it around and it hits that different lighting, um, it has like a little bit of a glossy, like a diamond hit. Like if you wiggle around a diamond, you know how it hits and sparkles in certain ways. This shoe does the same thing. So that's pretty dope. The difference between the mid and the Air Jordan 1 Low is that on the background of this leather right here, it's actually just white. As you guys can see the difference on the back half of the shoe. Then on the one, it just has that color going all around the shoes. Um, we don't have any parts of the leather just being white. So that is the difference between the mid and the low is that we get the white background on the outside and on the inside of the shoe. Instead of it being that diamond cut like you see all around the Arizona one low. So I'm gonna start off with the bottom of the shoe here. On the bottom of the shoe here, we get an icy also okay which will turn yellow so please take care of these um you know these are gonna yellow up pretty easily all right and then it says nike down there with a swoosh down there as well okay and then we also get some really good detail stars at the top of the shoe at the bottom of the shoe as well all right now coming up a little bit higher than that we get a white outsole with some white stitching show you guys the outside of that first show you guys the inside okay now coming back a little bit higher than that we get like this suede that's really tight. Um, you know, it doesn't really have a pattern change when you rub your hand through it. This suede is really, really tight. And that's throughout the majority of the shoe. And then I'll show you guys that right there in the background. Okay. Now coming around a little bit further up to the toe box here, we get this leather. And once again, it has like that diamond effect or like a little bit of a rainbow effect on it. If you look at the toe box there, when you wiggle it around and it hits in certain different light. These shoes will crease up, so make sure you guys put some shoe trees in this. I'll show you guys my right shoe, it came pre-creased like this. So make sure you guys put some shoe trees in these because these will get creased up very easily. Um, on the front of that, we get a black mud guard with the black stitching around it as well. Now coming back to the middle of the shoe here, we get that diamond cut swoosh. Okay, really good materials on this shoe. Other than it being, other than it coming pre-creased, I like the materials on this shoe. Okay, um, I do see a little bit of a stitching error on mine, but you know, I think that's just on this pair. Other than that, I think these shoes are very clean, in my opinion. Show you guys the inside, same thing. That tight new buck material on these. Let me get that swoosh. All right, now coming up to the lace panels on this, it does come in that suede material again in black. We only do get one pair of laces in these and they come in black as well. Then we get a mesh tongue. And at the top here, it has that Jordan logo. In the background, we get that diamond shorts color. Okay. On the inside of the shoe, we do get a cardboard insert. Okay, and on the inside of the shoe, it is all black with the Jumpman being in white. And the insole is black as well. All right, on the back of the shoes here, we get that Air Jordan logo that we normally see on the ankle of the Air Jordan 1 highs. And then the background is in that diamond short material. Pretty fire. 
All right, now I'm gonna show you guys where my foot is in the toe box right now. Okay guys, now this is what the Arizona One Diamond Shorts look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. I normally do get a size nine and a half in all my shoes, but with Air Jordan 1 Lows and Nike Dunk Lows and Air Forces, I normally go through the size because they run a little bit big in my opinion. Now, I wasn't able to get a size now and these are nine and a half once again, but as you guys can see on the right shoe here, how easily this shoe is gonna crease up. This shoe came pre-creased like this. I'll show you guys the left one right here. So you do so you guys do want to get some shoe trees in these shoes now um with the nine and a half it is a little big on my foot i'll show you guys my foot is in the toe box i'm moving it around but if you guys can't see it my foot is right here so i do have a lot of space right there as you guys can see a lot of space okay that's my big toe right here so i do have a lot of space in there um once again do go true to size on these now i don't feel any tightness here and my foot doesn't slip out of the back Okay, so, you know, that's a good sign because I do like to wear my shoes unlaced. So it still does fit, but it does have a little bit more space up in the toe box area, in my opinion. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love, and stay tuned.